your YouTube, YouTube. I'm back, man. What it do, man? This is the boy, the big homie, the big brother. Let's get it, Jay. Back at you with another build video. Listen, I've been gone for a minute. As you guys know, we know when I post these build videos, uh, going through some IRL stuff, man. But uh, you know, but I'm not gonna get too much in detail with it. But um, things is getting a whole lot better, you know, in my IRL. So um, I had to take some time off. Time off, you know. Know what I'm saying for. You know, from my mental standpoint, man, I appreciate you guys still rocking with me, man, still showing me so much love and support on these uh, build videos, man. But uh, I'm glad to be back, man. I'm going to be dropping some bangers for you guys, man. Been in the lab working and, you know, hope you guys enjoy the content I've been laying out, man. But let's get right into it. Uh, the build we're going to come, we're going to create today, man. Obviously, you know, the, the meta build right now, especially at the guard position, is that 6-9 glitch build. The 6-9 glitch is where it's at, so a lot of people jumping on the wave, so um i'm dropping these videos hoping to give you guys you know a, a build that i would re highly recommend you using you know depending on your play style so you know hope you guys enjoy it let's get right into it um we're gonna like i say you see the build right here is glitched you know um uh, i'm not gonna go through the stuff because i don't want this want this video to be 15 20 minutes long y'all know how i first created these six nine glitch builds by you know the first initiate was by my homie god mills man so Kudos to him, man, for dropping the knowledge on his building. He just blessed me to, you know, uh, critique it my way, and, and I wanted to bring it to you guys. But if you guys, you know, this is your first time tuning into the channel, you know what I'm saying? I will drop a link to my T-Mac build in the description box below. So make sure you check the description box. Click on that T-Mac video, and I lay it all online, all the steps on how to glitch the build and this, that, and the other, so you'll be good to go with that, but we're just going to go right into it, and as you can see on the screen, you know, uh, my height is taller, it, it's, it's bigger than the wingspan, my wingspan is at six foot eight. so obviously this tells you right here, it's, it's glitched, and this is at the shooting guard position, you know what I'm saying, so, um, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that it is glitched, also, if you're new to the channel, new to the culture, man, do your boy a favor, smash that like button for your boy, man, also, man, subscribe if you're new, man, you know, we're currently on that road to 1K, man, we about, about 23, 24 away from 900, so we're keeping up there, and the goal is to hit 1K by the summertime, so uh, let's let's get there together as a family. I, I I keep the channel very family oriented, man. It's it's good vibes, good positive vibes, good positive energy over here. It's no negativity, man. I show everybody love, man. Everybody that knows me, that's how I do. But uh, let's get right into this build. Obviously, the the height is six foot nine. The height is six foot nine at the shooting guard spot. Like I said, uh, the T Mac uh build video will be in the link. It'll, it'll be I, I had that link in the description box below. Just check that out. It'll go through all the steps of how to glitch the six nine build. Um, the two guard spot, as I said before, the height that you that it is six foot nine. You know the weight. You definitely want to keep that at one hundred eighty seven pounds. Now the 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 wingspan. We're not gonna keep it at six eight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it to seven foot one. Seven foot one. We're gonna we're gonna take that wingspan up to seven seven foot one. Uh, body shape is a personal preference. Me, I'm, I'm, I like to find, you know, just give that, that nice cut lean look. So that's what I'm going to roll with. Um, going to continue on. Let's get into, uh, these attributes for your close shot right here. You want to go with, I put my close shot at a 90 right here because I want to do it all be all bit where you can go. You could dominate on the inside. You can do what you do on the outside and play elite defense. That's, that's the kind of bills that I, I like to, you know, put out to you guys. So. Like I said, close shot, you want to put that up to a 90. Your driving layup, you want to put that at an 89. Your driving dunk, you want to go ahead and put that at a 92. It's going to max out there. Obviously, you know 92 at 6 foot 9, it gives you uh, uh, access to all the elite contact dunks at 6 foot 9. I mean, think about that. Elite contact dunks at 6 foot 9. You see the badges that you get right here, um, that gold posterizer. You know, it's self-explanatory. As I say in all my build videos, you put your tier badges based on your play style. But me, I like to go to the rack, so I'm I'm trying to I'm definitely gonna put that limitless take off, you know, at the highest at Hall of Fame. I'm definitely gonna put that post riser on goal. And also that mouse in the house. I love that badge. That mouse in the house on goal. I'm definitely gonna maximize that. But you see the badge that you get. We get twenty three total finishing badges. It is not bad at all. It's pretty OP in my opinion at six foot nine at the two guard spot. So uh going back and going down to the shooting, the uh mid range 
all went with a 71 because it's, it's not that hard to shoot on this game. It's, it's really not. Your three-pointer, you want to go ahead and max that out at an 83. And then your free throw right here, you want to go ahead and put that at a 76. Which is going to give us 21 shooting badges right here. Uh, you know, what I was looking for is get that hot zone and that limitless spot up on goal. That's what I was mainly looking for. You see the badges that we get right here, 21 total and all. It's not bad. You'll be able to shoot consistently from the perimeter, from you no know, right on the line to deep behind the line. That's what I was looking for, you know what I'm saying, when creating this build right here. So 21, we get all, you know, so we get it all that we can. So it's not bad. 21 is more than enough to get the job done. Like I said, shooting is not hard on this game, you know what I'm saying? So going out to the playmaking, the pass accuracy, you want to put that at an 85 to get that gold bullet pass. You know, I love that gold bullet pass so you can be that secondary ball handler on your on your team, depending on which mode that you you play, whether you pay park, pro-am, rec, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can you, you, you service enough to, to bring the ball up the court and initiate the offense through you. You know what I'm saying? So I went with an 85 pass accuracy. Your ball handle right here. You want to go ahead and put that at an 81, which is going to give us access to all the pro driven moves off the rip. You know what I'm saying? And then your speed with ball, of course, you know, is going to be at a 75 right there, which is going to give us a total of 24 playmaking badges. You see the playmaking badges that we get right here. It's not bad. The quick first step on silver, the unpluckable on silver, um, that gold bullet passes. That's what I really wanted. That's what I was really eyeing. So that's what I went with. The tight handles on um, on gold as well. So. Like I said, you know, based on your play style, you put your tier badges based on how you want to, based on how you play the game. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you like to bang and like to post up on small defenders, you do have access to post playmaking. You get up to gold. So, you know, something to think about right there. Like I said, 24 playmaking badges, not bad. Going down to the defense right here. I'm not going to worry about interior. We'll go to the perimeter defense. I went with an 88. To get that gold clamps, that gold menace, you know what I'm saying? That Hall of Fame hustler, the steel, uh, only went with a 73 right here. You know, with uh, 2K patching the interceptor badge, you know, and uh, I really don't see no point, you know, going higher than silver. That's just me. So, you know, I went with a 73 on the steel, uh, my block. Uh, put your block at an 86 right here. Put your block at an 86. Your offensive rebounding, you want to go ahead and put that at a 78. And then your defensive rebound, you want to go ahead and max that out at an 87 right there. So, you know, even though at the two-guard spot, you still get access to that uh, silver rebound chaser and that gold intimidator as well. So it's a very well-balanced build to chase down artists on gold. You know what I'm saying? So ankle braces, if that's you know badge you like. You know, you're able to get that as well at high tier and then also that Hall of Fame pogo stick at the two guard spot. You know what I'm saying? Pretty OP. You know, 25 defensive badges all in, in all. You know, it's a very well balanced build. And then when we look at it, you know, we're looking at 23 uh, finishing, 21 shooting, 24 playmaking, 25 uh, defensive badges. Well rounded build. You know what I'm saying? It's not bad at all. Um, I would personally make this build, you know what I'm saying? Um, go to college. Um, you know, if you're able to rebirth this build, rebirth it, you know what I'm saying? You know, if you can, you know, once you get done, you get access to an extra nine, you know, nine badges. So, you know, this is a pretty OP build in my opinion. Uh, going down and fishing this build out the physicals. Um, the speed, you want to actually, you want, you want to max that out. The acceleration, you want to max that out as well as 78. Not going to worry about the strength. The vert, all you need is an 80 because we got a 92 driver dunk. Got access to all the elite contact dunks plus all the elite alley-oop contact dunks as well. So all you need is an 80. If you want to go high, it wouldn't hurt. But, you know, all you need is an 80. That's the threshold that 2K requires. So 80 is all you need. And then stamina, go ahead and put the rest on stamina, which is going to max out at a 95 right there. So we got everything to a 99. Y'all see the uh, the well-rounded badge layout as far as the number of badges we get per category. It's not bad. We're going to continue on right here. Um, I'm going to show you guys the uh, badge that you get. You got access to all the slashing takes, all the shooting takes, plus the lock take. And, and you know, if this is your style, you know, you got access to all the rebounding takeovers as well. So it's not bad. But me personally, y'all see what I went with. 
the finishing because I want to, you know, finish and, and dunk on cats, you know what I'm saying, and finish elite, you know, at the rim and then also have the ability to shoot from distance too. So that's what I was looking at. Go ahead and finish in this build up right here. Hit yep. And then the 6 9 glitch two way inside out score. So you got, you know, you got, you know, you'll be able to do your thing not only from the inside, but you can do your thing from the outside too. And you can lock up defensively too. Very well rounded build. Hope you guys enjoyed this build. Like I said, if you knew, to the family, new to the culture, new to the channel, man. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Also, man, hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. We currently on that train to 1,000 subscribers by the summertime. And I know with the grind and the work, I know we can get there together as a family, man. But look, I'm going to get up out of here, man. Like I said, I apologize I've been gone so long, but I'm back. Glad to be back. Love y'all boys, man. Until next time, I will get at y'all on the next one, man. This is your homie. The big homie, the big brother. Let's get it, GM. I'll catch y'all on the next video, man. Y'all be easy, man. I'm out. Go.